welcome back to my channel guys so today i'm going to go through the six things i wish i knew before going to college or the university as some of you on this channel knows i just graduated with a master's in biotechnology so i'm just going to go through all the good the good the bad the ugly stuff that can happen when you're in the university the tip number one is don't buy the textbooks especially when you're in first year the first year in the university a lot of the lecturer will want you to buy your textbook because some of them they are doctors in that field like doctors in mathematics doctors in biology and all of that so most of these doctors and professors will probably want you to buy your books because you're the author of those books so please guys don't buy those books like you can get a lot of this stuff now online you can get free copies of those same books online pdf you can even get those same books in the library in the library there are a lot of books that you need for college in the first place so instead of spending money buying books you can just go to the library and get some of those books and there are also online website like PubMed that you can get a lot of different publication on PubMed. so please don't spend money buying textbook don't spend money buying textbook because you can get all these textbooks online that's the mistake i did the number one mistake i did that cost me a lot of money which i didn't have in the first place so save your money go to the library go online and type the title of the book that you're looking for you are surely going to find it online so then i'm going to go to the next one so tip number two don't spend more than you have sometimes when we go to the university for the first time we want to show off so we want to have the latest hash no! the rings the race watch and like the latest kicks like all this stuff the fancy clothes and bags and phones when you're in college in the first place you do not have that money in spending in iphones in ipad in big laptops so don't spend what you don't have some people literally go to the bank go to a lot of this financial institution to get loans just like fronts in college just to show off that they have something that they do not have so when you're in college in the first place you get a lot of student discount so if you're getting the bus you get like um, a bus discount and um, clothes like clothes discount food discount so all these different discounts that you get make sure you use them and i said in the first point that use the library so instead of buying books and buying all this expensive stuff buying lab laptop your libraries that you can actually go and like rent a laptop for a week a month or two for free instead of buying new laptops you make use of the college resources like make use of the college resources make use of your internet don't spend a lot of money paying for internet and starting if you can do it in the library if you can't buy books you can always get books in the library so please don't make these mistakes i did when i was going to college so this is coming from a person that went to college for five years and has got a bachelor's in neuroscience and a master's in biotechnology so i'm going to move on to the next one which is networking yeah networking is one of the biggest one that i will tell anyone watching this video to do networking will get you the job after college networking will get you the friends for life networking will get you basically maybe the perfect job you're looking for so when you're going to college it's not just to go to college or the university to sit and take notes always make sure that you're networking with like people that like make sure you're networking with like all these agency that usually come to college for example all the open days that usually come to college the university to look for like talent and all of that just go there talk to them share your name your cv you can also even when you're still in first year like create a linkedin account that's one of the biggest thing i would ask anyone watching this video to do get a linkedin account so literally most of the job i got after my college education was online was on linkedin if you're moving out of your parents house and getting an accommodation make sure you get accommodation with like random people preferable make sure you get accommodation with foreign students with all those exchange students because some of them might actually get you connection in the country in which they are based they can get you jobs there they can get you like network they can get you even university for some people that want to further their education after their bachelor's and their master's and they want to do a phd you can literally network from with someone that you met since year one then after like 
two to three four five years the same person that you even forgot about is the same person that might get you a job in a foreign country or might even refer you for a phd in the future so networking is huge make sure you mix make sure you go to like different clubs and societies clubs and societies actually your good place of networking as well because company comes for example i was in a biochemical and biological society so there were companies that were coming every open day just to talk about your companies getting to know us because after that you're probably going to be looking for a job and it's those same companies that we that, that we employ you so always make sure you network because even after going to college for three, four, five years, or some people even after having a PhD, they can't still get a job because your network is so limited. They've been so close just to themselves, they didn't mix that much. So networking is the third point and one of the biggest points on this video. So stay to the end of the video to know the final one and the most crucial one. So point number four is point number four is have fun when you're in college, yeah. Have fun guys, all the night outs, or not all of the night outs because you have to study as well, but just make sure most of the night out you go out because for example, the society is built in such, in such a way that you were born, you go to school, that's primary, secondary and university. After that, you're, you're primed to get a job, after getting a job, probably get a mortgage, a house, then a family, then you probably go to your retirement and after retirement, the next thing is dash so we are the, the society is built in such a way that you have to go through the steps most people usually go through the step and they forget about the fun part they forget about having fun relaxing and university is the place that i think is the best place that you can do that because before university you're probably staying with your parents at home the, most of them won't allow you to go out and stay out for the whole night then after university as well you probably you're probably looking for a job and most job actually won't allow you to be spending the whole day out or the every single weekend out so university is the best time that you can have fun if you love traveling please travel i myself i travel a lot when i was in in college when i was in the university i was traveling a lot and since i finished the university and i got a job i actually don't have that time i actually don't have that time and sometimes you don't even have the money to be traveling the way you were traveling back in the university so please guys make sure you have fun because that's maybe the most fun part of your life after college or university you might never never get it again because you're probably too busy starting a job or too busy getting a family or even too broke to even travel in the first place so please guys make sure you have fun join all the clubs and societies that you can go out with the foreign um, exchange student go out with friends even chat to just try try with people every single day people you don't even know you might probably think you don't know someone but at the end of a good chat the person might become your best friend so have fun guys that's something i didn't do that much because i was working which is the next point the next point is make sure you have a part-time job yeah i repeat make sure you have a part-time job because college or the university is extremely expensive as I said, the, the first point was buying the books some people don't like getting online books that they need to buy books if you do not have a car obviously you have to use the public transport which needs to be paid so having a part-time job will spare you a little money that you can use for like outing that you can use for like travels for people that want to travel or people that love traveling so having a part-time job is not just for the money is for the network as well because myself when i was um, in college as well i used to um, work in a um, in a in a tiny shop actually in a grocery shop and in that shop i knew a lot of people that till today we were like best friends i was just a staff there but today they still remember how good I were and it actually helped me in my communication skills. I used to be like a reserve person, but just working during college opens my mind. So I was able to talk to people free. I couldn't even do a video like the way I'm doing it today if I didn't have a part-time job. Most employers always check on your CV if you had a part-time job during your time in college because they will know that you're a punctual person because in order to have a part-time job and a full-time college, 
it's not easy so you need to be like a punctual you need to be good at time management and this is all the skills that companies are looking for so time management is a big thing if you have a part-time job and that prepares you for life after the university so please guy make sure you get a part-time job it will help you with a lot of stuff not just money it will help you with all of those points i just mentioned finally finally the most important point on this video according to me is investing yeah investing that's something i'm so so ashamed i didn't do when i was in college because same like everyone watching this video i thought investing you had to have like millions or thousands before investing but that's not the case even with 50 cents or one euros or one dollars you can invest nowadays so there are investing apps everywhere revolut which is one of the, the the online banks that a lot of people use nowadays have an investment section on that bank you can literally just on the comfort of your phone buy stocks of different companies that everyone use for example you can buy stock of Coke, you can buy stock on Apple you can buy stocks of Amazon and all these big companies and the thing is if you buy stocks for these companies the big 10 multinational companies in the world you are always going to make a profit say for example you're starting your first year in the university today and you bought a stock worth even 200 years by the time you finish the university if it was this stock that i said like the good ones the apple the amazons and all these big 10 all these 10 biggest company in the world you are 100 percent going to make a profit and that kind of that kind of mindset will help you through college it will help you with all of the other points i said it will help you with the point of don't just use your money carelessly it will help you with your your, your networking it will help to open your mind it will help you with a lot of stuff because if you're investing you might start having to like make friends with like people that are into stuff like that if you're investing it might open your mind into all the different fields that you didn't even know that you like so investment is something I, i'm begging literally begging anyone watching this video please make sure you do please if you don't have revolution there are a lot of investment app out there for example in the uk most people use revolution uk and all those english countries you can also use trading 212 and um, by the way i'm not paid uh, i'm not being sponsored by any of this company it's just companies that i use myself in investing you're know, really good in the us you can use robin hood which is one of the biggest investment platform for anyone that's starting for any beginners so guys please invest and please go through the six points i said in this video and at the end of your university life you'll be so so grateful you did i wish i could go back and restart everything from scratch i myself would implement all of these points so thanks a million for watching guys and please 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 don't forget to subscribe because i will be coming with loads of videos about investment about college life about personal life so there'll be a lot of videos coming on on this channel so thanks a million for watching and bye